Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to install Tailwind CSS. Okay, for that, let's go to Tailwind CSS website and let's click on get started. So here, there are tabs, like if you are using wheat, so you can follow these steps. So we need to find the Angular. Okay, so let's go to framework guides and here, there are a lot of frameworks. So as you can see, we have this Angular, uh, Angular here. So let's click on this. And this is the first step, which is already done by us. And so now we need to follow the uh, steps from here. Okay, so let me just copy this. And let's go to our Visual Studio code. And let's open the terminal and let's open the CMD. And uh, let's come out of this. So CD dot dot cd dot dot okay now we are inside the angular app so let me just clear this out and let's paste it and hit enter so inside the package if i can see we have this tailwind css version 4 okay now the next step is we need to create this file as you can see we don't have this file created by default so we need to create this so i just copy the name and here i need to create a file okay it should be outside the okay let me paste it here okay and let's copy this and paste it here then inside the style.css we need to copy this and paste it so here it is so just paste okay okay now we need to do an ng serve then we can add this classes so let's try this so i'm going to stop this project and i'm going to do ngs hyphen o okay actually yeah let me close this okay let me close this go to counter app now let me just try the css so let me just copy this class and inside the div i'm going to add this class okay let's go to so why we are not able to see the class names okay So this file name should be dot post. Okay. So I'm just going to rename it and here I'm going to add a dot. Okay. So now let's try this. Okay. Let me restart it. Okay. Okay, as you can see, now we have this classes here. Okay, it is showing text three XL font size is also we are getting the font size the button also. Okay, so now we are ready to style this uh, app. Okay, a small app which we created. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. Let me close this and 
let's go to let me close all the stuff okay we don't require this and let's open only this counter app html so here we are going to do styling so before that i just wanted to make this side by side so let me just try it from where i can do a side by side okay so if i go to this app oh one second let me just over on it okay so yeah this is fine let me just close this so now this is much better okay yeah it is looking good so now let's remove the class here and i'm going to add some class names of uh, tailwind so first i'll take flex flex call items center okay if i save this so now everything is inside the uh, center and flex call will make this one by one okay i mean one below each other and then i need a gap of four okay gap of four save this then what else i need a padding of six i'm just keeping i'm just saving it okay so you can see the changes so bg i'm going to give it white okay rounded okay it is giving me suggestions lg shadow that is going to be lg okay if i save this so now there's a shadow here as you can see now what else we need we need a max uh, width of uh, excess okay and then what else we need we need a max auto okay save this so now the box is in the center okay now let's take one more div so instead of this button i'm going to take a div okay and here i'm going to add class that is going to be text 5xl okay because value we want it to show bigger font that is going to be extra bold text color should be blue uh, 600 okay save this and margin bottom i need four yeah that's it now inside the uh okay these three buttons should be inside one div so i'm going to take a div and i'm going to cut this out and i'm going to paste it here so now these three buttons are inside this div so that we can show it side by side so class that is going to be flex and we need a gap of three okay save this okay this this is done now here i'm going to add few classes so padding from left and right four padding from top and bottom two save this okay bg that is going to be green 500 over over on hover the bg green should be 600 save this okay so now this is acting like a button behaving like a button i mean it's it is looking like a button okay text should be white font i need semi bold uh it should be rounded a button should be rounded and we need a transition okay save this so now and we need a click a uh, cursor pointer okay cursor pointer okay this is better so now we need to copy the entire class and here i'm going to paste it but instead of green i'm going to say red okay this is also red save oh what happened uh this is red and this is also red okay this is better now the same thing i need for this button but this is a reset button so i will keep it gray and that is going to be 400 and this is also going to be gray and this is going to be 500 okay save this so now this is looking better okay if i click on this it will keep adding and if i do a subtract it will be doing a minus okay reset so it will reset 
So this is how we can use Tailwind CSS in our project and we can do some styling for our application. So this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care and bye-bye.